The uh, state's emergency operations center will be opening up at midnight tonight. Now this is the real issue here. A lot of trees around the state, as you can see, still have their leaves on them and officials say that with the strong winds and heavy rains that are coming through, you really have a recipe for some real damage. Now we're here at Eversource's Manchester location and we had a chance to talk with them earlier and they say they are expecting widespread power outages throughout the night. They already have a team out working some more than 800 reported power outages. Now at last check that number sits just below 100. So there's some good news there, uh, but they also say they will have some 400 line and tree workers coming in very early in the morning to hit the ground running and take care of any power outages that may happen overnight. Now we also did have a chance to speak with the New Hampshire Red Cross and they say they have contacted their volunteers telling them to be ready for whatever this storm may bring. We've called, put, put out an all call for everybody to just to make sure that it, we know of everybody's availability. When something like this happens and uh, it could be a possible power outage situation, the Red Cross might be called upon by cities and local governments to open up shelters for people. And the Red Cross says it's also a good idea just to be safe to have your cell phones charged overnight and to have a first aid kit on hand in your own home. Live here in Manchester, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9. And Tim, before you go, any advice from Eversource there if people come across down power lines in their yard or their neighborhood? Yeah, Adam, well, that's really a big concern, especially since some towns will be holding their trick or treating tomorrow for Halloween. So they say if you happen to be out and about for that or come across any power lines on your property, they say always assume that they are live. They say never go up to them to try to move them or never drive over them if they are down in the road. Instead, they say call 911 and report those down lines.